who buys art in their self-managed super fund? We've got quite a large portfolio of art clients now. So we ran a survey across our clients and we also did some portfolio analysis and we've got a range of, we think, interesting facts about who are the type of people who buy art in their self-managed super funds. So the first thing is, what's the average holding? The average holding of our clients is about 150,000 in their self-managed super funds. We think that's higher than the average holding of clients who held art in their self-managed super funds before the 1st of July 2011, where the ATO statistics put that at around $50,000. More than 50% of our clients are aged between 50 to 59. 60% of our clients bought their artwork through a dealer, whether that be an art dealer or a coin dealer, which is a really high percentage. The next highest percentage was from galleries directly as opposed to online. The most number of our clients are from New South Wales at about 30%, followed by WA at 20%, and then Victoria and Queensland both share at about 16%, and the rest is held by the other states. Interestingly, of the New South Wales clients, they represent 42% of our total asset value, so they're obviously buying quite high value items, whereas the other states tend to buy lower percentages, so WA buys around 16% of our total asset portfolio, even though they make up a higher percentage of our client base. The interesting thing about WA is we see a lot of a different type of asset class. So they tend to buy coins and diamonds, more so than the other states which tend to buy art, which sort of is consistent with what you might expect coming out of the mining, mining area in the Kimberley region. There are around 545,000 funds, certainly on 31 December 2014, and the art and collectible portfolio is around 500 million. It's quite a large number, but in the context of the overall asset base held by self-managed super funds, it's very low. And in fact, the average holding by funds is less than 1%, and that's been decreasing over time. And I think that's a function of two things. One, the asset values have actually been falling in price themselves off the back of probably the GFC. And most galleries would recognise that asset values have fallen. Two, some of the changes I think around self-managed super funds and the requirements around storage and the requirements around insurance have probably impacted the portfolio of artwork held by self-managed super funds. If you're interested in learning more about self-managed super funds and the statistics and our portfolio, then feel free to give me a call.